Welcome to IFS YouTube videos. I'm Praveena Rupratna, a software designer at IFS R&D Finance. This video is about different flexibilities of consolidation structure in IFS Cloud in producing consolidated balances for multiple consolidation structures and for multiple purposes. So I'll take you through how different consolidation structures can be maintained and managed in IFS Cloud and different other flexibilities in consolidation structure that supports the consolidation process. Let's see how this works by taking an example. This is the ownership structure of a group of companies. Let's call it as Global Holdings. Global Holding is a multinational company which has fully owned subsidiaries, sub-subsidiaries and associate companies. The ownership structure is then maintained as the legal structure in IFS Cloud. These purple color circles represent the subgroups within the Global Holdings. Top circle represents the holding group which all the other subgroups are connected to. So this is the structure that is going to be maintained as the legal structure in the application. Same time, this holding company maintains the operational structure of the group based on the region of each company. This is the operational structure of the global holding. If a restructuring happens in the holding company, the same can be maintained as a separate consolidation structure parallelly in IFS Cloud. Now let's move on to the application. We are in the consolidation structure page. So now I'll focus on the left hand side panel of the page to explain on the consolidation structure. Group of companies are represented by a consolidation node in the consolidation structure in IFS Cloud. Hence in the legal structure, there are four consolidation nodes to represent the group of companies within global holdings. Since global holding is the parent company, it is connected to the top node. Rest of the companies in the group is connected to the relevant node based on their immediate parent company. Ultimately, all the subnodes are connected to the top node to reflect the ownership of the holding company. Now let's see how the operational structure of the global holding is maintained at the same time. As per the example, the operational structure of the global holding is based on the region the companies operate. Hence, two consolidation nodes are maintained to reflect the European region group and the United States group. All European region companies are connected to the European region group and all the US companies are connected to the United States group. And if you want to see the simulated balances if a restructure happens, then you can maintain another operational structure parallelly in IFS Cloud. Another flexibility in IFS consolidation structure is the visibility of the structure changes in just one click. That is acquisitions, disposal of companies and ownership changes can be viewed in the history tab of the consolidation structure page. All the changes within the group are reflected in this history tab. Some of the important information you can find here is the period which the change occurred, the changes of the ownership, the date and the time the change was recorded, and the use ID of the person who made the change. Now let's see how these different consolidation structures can be maintained and managed simultaneously. In the consolidation status overview page, multiple consolidation structures can be maintained and managed for different operations which supports the consolidation process. For an example, if you want to run the consolidation for a period, then you can simply select the consolidation statuses relevant to legal and operational structures and then execute the consolidation. Now let's see some more functionalities that support many changing business operations in legal and operational structures. IFS consolidation functionality has inbuilt automated consolidated elimination which is executed based on the consolidation method selected in the consolidation structure. It also facilitates the ultimate ownership and provides the flexibility in executing the consolidation in multiple currencies and facilitates the equity elimination. With that we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to IFS YouTube channel.